Hello guys, this is Boys from Cloudways. We are at WordCamp Europe in Porto, and today we have with us Vaselina. She has been a huge part of the WordPress community over the past few years, and today she's going to share some stories about her, about community marketing, and then some projects that she has done and she's proud of. Hi, Vaselina. How are you? Hi, I'm very good. Thank you. How's Thanks the WordCamp going for you right now? Oh, it's awesome. It's so nice to be back in person and uh -huh. see everyone I haven't seen for a few years. All right, so before we begin with the actual interview, why don't you just introduce yourself to our audience and see. Sure. Uh, so I'm Vasi. That's the short version, which is not just easier to pronounce, yeah. but also what friends call me. So please do. Um, I'm an independent marketer. I've been in marketing for almost 15 years now, and I focus on creating digital strategies for clients. So what we try to do is not just build the plan, but help them learn how to execute that in the long run so okay. that I can, you know, extract myself out of the project and let them continue on in their journey. All right. And how long have you been associated with the WordPress community? So I started my first blog back in 2006. Uh -huh. uh, that wasn't on WordPress, uh, but I quickly realized my mistake. So about a year later, I moved to WordPress. And uh, ever since, I've been interested in meeting other people in the WordPress community. So whenever we started having WordCamps uh -huh. in Sofia in Bulgaria, where I'm from, okay. I uh, got into those and went up to meet a bunch of wonderful people. That's awesome. I mean, uh, and so you chose WordPress. I mean, what was the story behind you choosing WordPress? So it seemed like a platform that gives you more freedom. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's easy enough to use for someone who's non-technical like I am. Because okay. I'm in marketing, not a developer. Don't play one on TV. <laughs> so, All right. uh, so this was this was actually the main reason. And actually having the community there was also an important part. Because yeah. whenever I ran into a technical snag or something like that, I could always reach out for help and someone would be there and, you know, point me to a mistake that's probably like super easy. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. So I was doing a bit, a bit of research on you because I wanted to get approaches to this, to this interview. And I came across uh, your LinkedIn profile and it says that you founded ratio.bg. So is that something, is that a project that you want to talk about if you're proud of? Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of that. So we started uh, this uh, ratio or ratio as you call it in Bulgaria. Okay. Uh, we started it off back in 2012. And the focus there was creating uh, science communication events. So it's an NGO. Uh, it's my pet project. It's my side passion, whatever you want to call that. And uh, the reason we started that was that we wanted to meet uh, exciting scientists who could speak to a larger audience, uh -huh. not just other, uh, you know, people in academia and so on, but just curious people like me and you. All right. So any other projects that you're more proud of uh, that you want to talk about in this interview? So, um, I guess the other thing that I'm super happy with uh -huh. is actually my own personal blog. I'm a marketer and I can't help plugging my work in. All right. <laughs> uh, and the reason for that is, is not so much the fact that uh, I get a lot of client requests and so on through that, but that I meet so many cool people. So, for example, with my newsletter, um, I, I just meet a bunch of people interested in marketing uh, and then we continue the conversation somewhere else and I can share what I know and I can be helpful. All right. So has marketing always been your passion or were you interested in something else before? I started off with public relations, which uh -huh. is related to marketing, but a bit different. Uh, so it was mostly around media relations, doing uh, special events and so on. Uh -huh. But quickly, I saw that I, I'm more interested in the digital side, and that's when I when I did this small pivot and switched into marketing. But I've always been interested in communicating with people and actually figuring out the best way to translate information to them. So, so this has been there forever. So you had a talk today at, at the event as well, and you like public speaking. So how did you thought on about public speaking? What is what is it about public speaking that you like the most? Mm -hmm. So um, the interesting bit about that uh, is that I've been uh, an amateur actor for a bunch of years. Oh, really? <laughs> so yeah, all throughout school, I was part of different acting groups and drama classes. And we also always had fun to put on uh, different shows and so on. Uh, so I guess there's a part of me that still, you know, looks for a stage whenever uh, that's possible. Uh, and that's also the reason why I feel happy when I'm on stage and uh, when I can share more. 
All right, and just talking about WordPress community, I mean, uh, why do you think WordPress community is so important for WordPress survival? Well, I think that having this community is the biggest benefit because it's very easy for someone to start off with WordPress, even if they're not like a technical person. So if I need to build a website on my own, I frankly wouldn't know where to start. But when you have a community there, it's a safety net. It's also a group of people that you can feel very comfortable with speaking and asking for help. Yeah. And having so many welcoming people, it just boosts up your motivation as well. All right. Uh, so any tips that you would like to give to young WordPress users who are looking to make a career in WordPress like yourself? Well, yeah, I mean, just go out there and meet people. Yeah. Uh, that's the reason why I'm here at WordCamp. That's yeah. also the reason why uh, so many other people are. And right. having that, that group of people that you can communicate with, that you can ask, and um, that can be really just uh, a bunch of guys that you love spending time with. That's very right. important. So I'm pretty sure that after this interview, a lot of people would be looking to follow you on social media. So where can we find you on the internet? Uh, so I'm on LinkedIn, Instagram. I'm on all the socials. The simplest place would be going to my website. Right. Uh, it's a Slavic surname, so that's a bit hard to spell, but I'm going to give it to you. So. <laughs> Uh, it's my family name, Valchanova, uh, which is spelled V-A-L-C-H-A-N-O-B-A -A dot -A -E. All right. So thank you so much, Vazirina, for taking your time out. I know you're a very busy person. Really appreciate the 15 minutes that you've given to us. And thank you for this interview. Thank you so much. Thank you.